Hello ladies and gentlemen, Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we are looking at MetaHuman Creator. Now this was launched by Epic Games uh, back in about February of 2021. Uh, it is an incredibly powerful tool for creating digital humans that had one very serious limitation, and that is you couldn't create your own characters. You could only mix and match from what they provided. Well, that has changed. You can now create your own characters like her. This is my creation, and I think she looks darn good. Now it's not my base mesh. I'll show you everything I used to go ahead and create her. But I think she looks near to flawless. I think she looks very human-like. There's only one flaw in her, and once you see it, you can't really unsee it. And that is this terrifying flap of skin over her eye. And I'm sure you can fix that, but uh, yeah, that is a flaw. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and show you how to go ahead and create this character. You're going to need to log into MetaHuman Creator at some point. It's available at metahuman.unrealengine.com. This is the base mesh we are using in this example. Obviously, you can use your own. Any um, modeled recognizable face should work just fine. Upload it into Unreal Engine in FBX or OBJ format, and you are good to go. I am using Angelica from Sketchfab as the base mesh. This is from Nick Zava 284. It's a free download. So if you want to try and follow along, just download this one. I will have this linked in the linked article down below. Also, you need the plugin. And this is where I say goodbye to some of you because unfortunately, it is Unreal Engine 5 only and it is currently Windows only. Hopefully, they add Mac and Linux at some point in the future. But right now, this is Windows only. It's very experimental at this stage. So that is your prerequisites. Now we're going to go ahead and jump into Unreal Engine and show you how easy it is to create your own character. First things first, you need to import your mesh. Uh, I've already imported her here, but I'll show you the process over here. So go ahead, click the import button, locate your FBX file or your object file. And the only thing that you really care about is you want to verge. You want to verge. You want to merge all of the vertices. So this is uh, combined meshes. So you want to make sure that this here is checked. Otherwise, do an import all. Once you've imported everything, uh, come back in and it will be available like so. So you want to have this base mesh imported. By the way, I do not need the hair. We really just care about the contours and shape of the face itself, but it'll work just fine with the hair as well. So now that we've created her, what you need to do is create a new MetaHuman. So we'll go here, go to MetaHuman. If this isn't available, your plugin is not installed. To install the plugin, go to Edit, Plugins, search for meta humans and if you've installed it correctly this will be available right here click the little checkbox and it's going to force a restart once you've done that you should have the meta human menu available so once again right click meta human and then create a meta human identity we will call this one angie like so and now that we've created angie uh now we come in here and there's a couple things you need to do obviously you need to add the mesh to your character so components from mesh and you pick your static mesh now what you want to do is position it in the scene so they, they recommend a field of view of 20 like so so it is very um centered and then what you want to do is basically frame it as best as possible so you want to have it kind of entirely in view and you want it to be a neutral pose so you want the mouth to be closed and, and sort of like this so, so no real expression sort of a blank expression face and then you're good to go. So we framed it out there right there. You need to pick a body for your character. You can also pick the height at this point in time. So female, male, large, or so on. So we'll, we'll pick a pretty standard female body right here. And then you need to define the natural pose. So this is the neutral pose. Once you've got this selected, you see the yellow cursor around the outside. We are good to go. Now what you do is click promote frame. So we've created her. We're good to go. And really, that's, that's all you needed to do. Now you can go to track active frame and what this is going to do is position uh like the contours of the mouth the lips the eyes on the frame and if you need to you can move those around in my case it nailed them pretty good this might actually be where i get the double iris or the double flap on the eye i may have had my position a little bit off here uh but once you've done that really that is it you are pretty much done at this time uh so solve it and now what it's going to do is figure out the uh oh the humanity of our meta human and now we just create it and this will send it off to the meta human back end now meta human runs entirely um on unreal engine servers or epic game servers it's kind of um I guess a bit of the future for some of these high computational tasks. I don't know how much AI work is on the back end or whatever to make things work, but this is submitting it off to their servers. This can actually take a bit of time, so I will return once it is done. Okay, about 30 seconds later, I got this message. Your MetaHuman is available in Creator and Bridge in the My MetaHuman section. 
All right, so we are good to go. Now let's head to MetaHuman Creator. To do so, we head on over here, go to metahuman.unrealengine.com, like so. And we've got our, our previous creation, but if I do a refresh, we're going to have a new one. Angie is now here. Let's click Angie, and what you're going to see is our new creation. Now this can actually take a few seconds to, oh, nope, it loaded up pretty quick. So there is our base character. We are ready to start working with her. So that's all it takes to add your own base facial mesh up to the MetaHuman server. So now we can go ahead and edit this character. And again, we've got, we've got options over here so we can do like uh, animations to see how they react to various different animations. Click the ellipsis or hamburger button beside it so you can see a variety of different animations in action. Uh, you can switch between the body uh, or just the face here if you wish. Your, your controls are available over here for panning around the scene. But once we've got the character ready to go, then we just basically start going through all of these things. Now, the default way before was to blend uh, your characters together, uh, but we'll need to go to editing and custom mesh. I'm not going to make a custom mesh yet because we've got some things to do here. Now, first thing we want to do is probably give her some skin. So let's assign a skin color. Let's go right around there. Okay, now we can go uh, freckles or no freckles. Let's make her pretty freckle yeah, let's go freckleless and we can add some accents in so you can round up the face and so on we're, we're good with the default we also got the ability to set uh the eyes so we got a number of presets or you can switch out the irises and was it sclera um and then we can also go ahead and change the teeth so let's let's whiten her teeth a little bit uh you so you got control over the amount of plaque and so on you you have amazing amount of control over things uh you can control control the tooth length over here uh you, you've got a ton of control over um the fine-tuned details here uh we can apply some makeup if we wish so let's add a little bit of blush just to the cheeks like so we can narrow it down a little bit uh now we're going to go ahead and add some hair this is probably where things are probably a little limited the number of hair base meshes isn't huge and then some of these are also kind of limited in that they only have um, a certain number of levels of detail. So here, we're going to make a slightly different character than we did before. You've also got control over the hair here, so we can change the roughness or the sheen of the hair. Uh, we can change the salt and pepperness, so we can change the, the age. I'm accidentally making Billie Eilish here, it seems. Um, you also can change out the, uh, the various different aspects. So again, we, could, we can change the hair color right here. Uh, so you've got a ton of control over it. One of the things before is you used to not be able to really switch out the color that much. Uh, it seems like now you can actually dye hair. So there, we're going full Billie, Billie Eilish on this one. Uh, eyebrows, again, just pick the ones that you like the look of the most. Eyelashes, give some more advanced eyelashes. We could add a mustache or a beard. I'm going to try and not make a horror show this time. Uh, then you get control over how the body, the body itself looks. You can add clothing and so on. Uh, and then you can check your character out with a number of different animations. So here we are with an idle animation or full body emotional, ah, con, um, angry, and so on. So you got really, really realistic humans going on at this point in time. I think it's kind of, well, well, we're living in the future for sure with this stuff. And I think you could create some pretty amazing things. And now the fact that you could upload your own base mesh, the sky's kind of the limit on the characters that you can create. And then once you've created your character, uh, you can also, by the way, define and refine each individual area. So if you didn't like how your forehead worked when you imported it, we could de-emphasize or re-emphasize. It's more noticeable, say, on the nose. So let's go ahead and take a look at the nose here. And we can set the amount of influence that that nose that we uploaded has over the, the end model. So you got a lot of uh, individual things. And we can also basically make this guy editable, which will then allow us to also use it in mixing versions. I'm not going to do that. Editing actually allows you to do uh, sculpting and more, uh, but it's beyond the scope of what I wish to do. So here we created Angry Billy Irish. I, Eilish? I, Eilish? Eilish? I don't know. Um, I... I I, I'm just kind of amazed by this technology, to be honest. Now, one of the big limitations of the MetaHuman tool in the past was quite literally the inability to create your own base mesh. And that's what has changed with this plugin release. So now our character is done. Uh, we head on back over to the root of uh, the MetaHuman uh, website. And there we have our new creation. There also, by the way, is our previous creation. So you see, uh, even with the same base mesh in, you get pretty different results this looks like the 
the little sister from Buffy, in my opinion. And this looks more like Billie Eilish, again, in my opinion. Uh, but you now have, again, the ability that control over the base mesh itself. The sky's the limit for the number of characters you can go ahead and create. Now, once it's created, you also should have the ability, if you go over to Bridge, so I'm going to go ahead and I think I need to leave this page and come back. So Unreal Engine 5, there we go. And now our two models are now available. So if I want to go ahead and use her, I can start and I can pick the texture resolutions I wish between 1K, 2K, and 8K. Oddly, no 4K. But I think that might be because of the limitations on this particular character. And we can just download it. Um, and then, uh, so this one is Unreal Engine 5 only. So that means you have to use Bridge built into Unreal Engine 5, which thankfully uh, it is. Bridge for Unreal Engine 5 is available window. Quixel Bridge right here. And it will open up accordingly. And now I should be able to find, I think if I maximize this, uh, MetaHumans. Now the weird thing here is I don't see my own MetaHumans here. But if I do it, if I do local, no, I don't know. So this seems like a bug to me, to be honest. It should show up in this bridge. But weirdly, at least for now, I am only finding it in this bridge. So uh, I don't know if there's a, a side effect there or something broken right now, or if I'm just a user error, which is very, very possible. But I should be able to del download this locally using bridge and then access it that way over here in the Unreal Engine 5 bridge. Um, because, yeah, I'd, I'm not sure why uh, my newest asset isn't showing up. Uh, but it might be here somewhere, and I just don't know where it is. All right. So that, ladies and gentlemen, uh, is the new updated MetaHuman Creator. Now you can create your own base meshes, which really changes the way things work. And as you saw, it was pretty easy to work with. So let me know what you think. Comments down below, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.